Yo, dude, sick, bro. <laughs> Alright boys, so today is the day after we towed the car home and the Civic is sitting inside the garage right now. I've narrowed it down to, <laughs> okay, hopefully you can still hear me. I've narrowed it down to either the igniter or the ignition coil inside the distributor. Uh, the igniter is cheaper, it's only 50 something bucks to replace. I'm t I tested it, they're both getting voltage, so it's just one of the two things is failing. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the igniter first. If it still won't start, then I'm gonna have to do the ignition coil. It really sucks because like they're really cheap on Amazon, but I just don't really want to wait another day to get the parts in and fix the car. I'm gonna go full send and go buy these parts right now. Wish me luck. We're gonna get some food, whip the R8, and then uh, we'll be back to install it. Real quick, just while we're getting out of the neighborhood, do you want to tell these boys what this thing is? Uh, like my, what's so special about it? Oh uh, yeah, okay, so this is the 2010 supercharged R8. And uh, how much power does it make? 710 horsepower, 060, 3.1 from what I understand. I haven't tested anything, but I just got a new exhaust installed. Last one was aftermarket as well. I think it was like a stasis, but I got a Rev9 titanium exhaust. So it sounds pretty good. It's pretty loud. Uh, it doesn't have valves, but uh, yeah, I like it a lot. And I got new winter tires and then new 19 inch uh, wheels as well. So it's like feeling a lot better than the summer, a lot more like traction and stuff. So, so like when he first got this car, like last week or something, was it last week or two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, yeah. two weeks ago he first got this car. He took me out for a rip in this thing and he was on Michelin Pilot Sports, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which so are, which are great, but not for the winter. Yeah, and it's like 30 degrees here yeah. or below. Like when he picked me up, I think it was it was like below 30 degrees yeah. when he picked me up. He was just trying to do like pulls, and like he was spinning all four tires from a roll. So so we're good now, I think. All right, boys. So we're back in the garage. We got the new part. Car's here. Still not starting. I currently took the distributor apart, and I took out the ignition coil. I don't really know much about distributors, but this is the more expensive part. This is like 80 bucks. This is the what did the guy call this? The ignition uh, yeah, I don't know. I control know module about. or something. <laughs> this is like an igniter. Or the igniter, at least that's what Eric the car guy calls it. <laughs> Took this out, we're replacing this first. It's only 50 bucks, whereas that's 80. I already put the new one on, put the new heat sink, whatever, like the old heat sink, and I'm about to reinstall it into the distributor and put everything back together. Okay, boys, so the new igniter is installed. I put the ignition coil back. Uh, all I have to do now is put the distributor cap back on, rotor is on, so we're all set. Distributor cap goes back on and we can try cranking the car. I'm just going to have my fingers crossed, but I'm not too optimistic that it's going to start. So This is going to be the first attempt at starting since we've been back here. <laughs> here we go. Fingers crossed. Here we go, boys. You just saw that the car didn't start, so we took a trip over to AutoZone, picked up a new ignition coil, because that was the other thing I suspected was wrong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install that right now, and we're gonna give it another shot. Trial number two, the ignition coil's in. I'm gonna try it again, see what happens. It's so close, I don't know what's going on though. Alright boys, it is currently 8.57 p.m. We came back to my dad's house. Kearney gave me a ride here. I don't, I don't know where she is. There she is. She gave me a ride here and reason being is Tyler, the previous owner of this car, gave me another suggestion to try. It was free, so I just decided to run over here and test it out. He suggested that I might have gotten moisture inside my distributor. So he suggested that I came over here and blow dried out the inside of the distributor and then put the seal back on with some dielectric grease. There is a chance that this is what was wrong with the car. So I'm about to go ahead and start it. I already did all that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to start it and see if it starts. I'm, I'm not super optimistic, but who knows? Could, could start, we'll see. I'm gonna give Kern the camera. Well, here we go. You ready?
honestly don't know. Is this a bad thing or a good thing? I don't know yet. Is it still rolling? Yeah. Yeah, boys. The only reason that I'm not like absolutely throwing a party right now is because I need to let it idle for a little while to make sure that it's idling smoothly. I'm gonna just let it idle for a long time. Like I'm just gonna let it sit here for like ten minutes. But like so far, <laughs> this is the this is the best it's run in two days. Let's go, baby! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. The car's running. Now we can make some more progress, man. Now we can make this thing fun. Thank you, God. Like yes. So boys, the car ran last night. Car's been running all day today, pretty well. It's about 11.50, 11.55 a.m. And I'm really, really happy. So with that being said, boys, this is where I'm ending today's video. If you liked the video, please click that thumbs up. If you disliked the video, get the heck out of here. And as always, if you do like the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps me out, it really helps the channel grow. And as I always say, boys, remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals. Bye. And also, don't get moisture in your distributor.